Welcome to Violin Lounge TV, where you learn to play the violin and viola with body, mind and spirit. This is your host, violinist Zlata. Hey there! This week's episode is all about if you can have your elbow or sh shoulder too low, if you can overdrop it. And that's a question by Nicola and she writes, Hi Miss Latte, can I ask you something? Is there such thing as overdropping my elbow or, or shoulder? Or rather, the question is, is overdropping the elbow or shoulder good at all time? Because people are telling you all the time, shoulders low, elbow low, everything low, but can it be too low? Um, because I always think that a dead drop of everything, especially the right arm, will make me, make me more relaxed and my playing better. But instead, I feel some tension and strain at my lower triceps near the elbow and at the ulna side of my forearm. I feel a stretched muscle. I experience this mostly when pronating my forearm when playing at the tip and the triceps pain at the middle down bow. I consciously drop my elbow, especially at the down bow. Am I overdoing it? I'm preparing myself to rework on my straight bowing and tone production and I think addressing the basic issues such as shoulder, elbow, wrist and finger flexibility will tremendously make my project a whole lot easier and yield better results. Thanks a lot from Nicola or Nicola or uh, <laughs> don't know where you come from so how you pronounce your name um, and uh, what she's talking about is you hear a lot that when you are bowing, you need to lower your shoulder. So a lot of people lift their shoulder and then your sounds get bad. So you have to lower your shoulder, play with weight of your arm. But can you do it too low? Well, if you are at the tip of your bow, and I hope you can see everything, then you have to lower your shoulder because your uh, arm goes a bit to the front like uh, like that but yeah here you feel some muscle stretching and mainly uh, here you feel it um, if you look at soloists lots of time because you hear all the time uh, you need to bow absolutely straight but if you look at soloists you see that sometimes uh, at the end of the bow they round it make it round like that and actually that gives a nice round sound uh, sound uh, soundless uh, bow change so you don't need to bow straight to all of the tips sometimes you need to do but remember that you don't have to do that uh, if it sounds better and it feels better uh, to round it a little bit like you see solo is doing quite some time you, if you look at the soloist they don't bow absolutely straight all the time while they are of course totally able to it it's a conscious choice that they don't do it so if it's comfortable and it sounds better then you know <laughs> there's nothing against it so that was the shoulder part now let's go to into the elbow part maybe you have heard of Galamian's square which is like this when you and perhaps maybe because of the perspective it looks a little, little bit off with me because this part is closer for you than this part so that part will look bigger and my square will look a bit like that but it needs to be a kind of a square or at least a rectangle and you have to be like that so if you lift your elbow it's not a square anymore and if you lower your elbow like that it's not too and in this way you are um, you can't really the weight of your arm into the bow and when you're doing this you're really pushing it and you get really the pushy kind of sound um, so uh, what i recommend is that you make that square and then feel how your uh, how the position of your elbow is and i like to do it a little bit slightly lower than an absolute square so instead of this just a little bit like this and then try to discover the position of your elbow on each string so that's about the elbow so you can't really overdrop your shoulder uh, especially if you're pushing it down uh, with a lot of strength but just leave it there 
uh, leave it relaxed hanging there uh, without tension and then the elbow you actually can over drop it so, so you shouldn't put your elbow like this like a chicken wing all the time uh, try to make that square and you can do it a little bit lower I like to do that it improve my, improves my tone also um, but yeah but keep it kind of in a square so not too low because then you um, yeah, kind of lose your weight well I hope I've helped you in this way and maybe reassured you so you can um, yeah get back to your uh, uh, your project hope I made it a bit easier for you uh, do you like this video then like it and share it with your friends if you'd like to receive more valuable and actionable violin tutorials then go to violinlounge.com to subscribe for my weekly updates thank you for watching violin lounge tv happy playing bye bye thank you for watching violin lounge tv Slatter has a gift for you the free workshop weight versus pressure in this, she will teach you how to play the violin or viola effortlessly and comfortably. The secrets to creating a beautiful tone and to touch people's hearts with your violin or viola playing. Weight vs. Pressure includes the 30-minute video masterclass Weight vs. Pressure, the 44-page workshop binder and the Weight vs. Pressure body scan you can do yourself. People use it as a valuable reference for years. Go to www violinlounge.com forward slash free dash workshop. Fill out your name and email address, go to your email inbox to confirm, and Zlatter will send you the login details for the workshop within one hour. Enjoy happy practicing and beautiful playing.